heading out for the KOM. There's a brick on the road. We'll get that off. That can fuck someone right up. The update, what happened to my SL7. Um, there's nothing wrong with it, apart from uh, seat post does slip a bit. But I've just, yeah, I haven't, uh, the wheels, I took the wheels off and loaned them to a mate. He wanted to uh, to try out some wheels. The Rover wheel's pretty good, even on the S Epic here. Uh, the Rover wheels become spec with it. DT Swiss hubs, they're, they're really good. Uh, this S-Works Epic has hardly been ridden, so it's almost, it's almost brand new, apart from the spider webs. Spiders love it. I'm glad to see someone's loving the SRAM brakes. Never buy SRAM mountain bike brakes yeah, if you want to have that Shimano dependability. And on the flip side, Shimano road brakes disc can be a little bit iffy as well. Um, the issue with the Epic was the, the brain. The brain technology was a bit brain dead. You can see that, see that shock there. It's just kaput. Um, it got warranted a lot, but just it just poor, poor design quality. Um, so yeah, it's been sitting out here for a while. Collecting some spiders in the SL7. I would say, um, again, it's all first world problems here, but I would say, yeah, definitely the, the, the S-Works Epic has been, you know, RIP. It used to be a, a lightweight race bike, and now it's just a, you know, soft barrister clunker, um, in my opinion. Someone has owned Epic since 2004, 2003. And this S-Works, uh, I have to take the mirror off, actually. The mirrors, I don't want to get hit, lose that. It's, uh, yeah, uneventful for me. And so, yeah, this is the camera just cut out. Um, yeah, it's just... For me, again, first world problems. It's good to see that the uh, the BSA bottom bracket is back. That's a real positive. Also BSA for the Epic, so that's that's a thumbs up there. Uh, the wheels, I said the Rover wheels, the DT Swiss hubs, thumbs up there. But just the muted, sluggish feeling. The Duress group set works great. The SRAM uh, Eagle works fantastic. Just the brakes are, are just shocking. Just I didn't bother to send it back for warranty. I'm just like, they're going to send me a new one out, and it would just be the same potential problems. So, yeah. I'll do it one day. Um, but yeah, this, uh, the paint colour as well. Um, I think the Epic looks great. Black and white. If only, if only the, the Epic Road as good as it looks. Uh, this one here, the SL7. So a few scratches on there. Um, the paint colour is just alright. But it's, you know, when I ordered it, uh, when I chose the colours online, I was like, wow, it's going to be really pretty purple. And I asked the audience here, uh, what do you think? Should I get this one? Like, yeah, but in real life, it, it looks totally different. Um, I've had a few people write to me and say, yeah, it's... I ordered one and I saw it and I, I, I exchanged it for the green or the blue. And I can understand. But again, some people love this colour. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The colour of a frame doesn't really matter. But I think specialised, um, if you're going to advertise a product, it should match what you market it as. That's only fair. Like the Epic, he said the Epic doesn't have any bob, but it does have a lot of bob. And this, for me, this, this uh, SL7 here, it didn't match the colour on the internet website. Just a small thing for me, big thing for others, but it's all good. This is a spine house. There's a huntsman spider that lives in here. Maybe we'll come back at night time and it uh, comes up in there. So I can't see any little legs. Or was it maybe down there somewhere? Maybe it's, maybe it's moved out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, you know, the, the fork is a little bit proprietary. you got to, you know, I, I didn't, uh, I've got the s work stem coming. It's on back order, um, the frame set. Apparently it comes with the stem or the, know, some issue with supply, whatever, that's fine. Um, so, but we put a, this stem is lighter than the S-Works and these bars as well. It'll be lighter once you include the uh, the uh, combo of the bars, stem and mount. It's actually lighter, uh, a fraction lighter than the S-Works one and a lot easier to set up. You have to worry about all the internals going through. It's just, this is a nightmare. Um, and even, yeah, it's just a nightmare dealing with, once stuff goes in through here, it's just, it's a lot of faff. I mean, it looks cleaner and stuff, but it's going through the steer, and you've got to drill a hole in the steer, and it's just, I don't know. Is long term, is that going to be safe? Who knows? Who knows? Um, we'll take it apart, and we'll strip the bike down at some point. Uh, when we'll get round to it, and we'll weigh, actually weigh it out. Weigh it out. It's quite, about seven and a half kilo with the Durace group set, uh, a lightweight S-Works titanium rail saddle, which is about the same as the uh, the carbon rail ones. Carbon rail saddles, they can break a lot, so, you know, so if you do... Once, um, if you have all because they're going to use carbon rail, so make sure you use the appropriate specialized did a great job. Uh, they've got here, they've got listed alloy rail. So, if you do use alloy rail or titanium, that's about a seven mil, make sure you use the alloy. And if you do use a carbon rail saddle, I don't recommend it if you weigh over 70 kilos, then use the carbon rail. All right? Otherwise, you can, you know, if you put an, a carbon one in here, you'll cramp, cramp it and it'll crack. All right, so make sure you use the with these side loading seat posts, you use the appropriate ones. Another shade of this bike, uh, seat post slippage was. 
I prefer like a really aggressive zero offset. So if I want to run a zero offset, I had to buy a whole new seat post. You know, there wasn't a chance to swap it at the shop. And I, I get to ask the shop, and I said no. And I, I get that because, you know, I would, you know, having a four hundred dollar, three hundred dollar seat post laying around, it's not not everyone has that. Um, I understand that. So if you do want to get a zero offset post, you, you know, the frame is worth eight thousand dollars Australian. You will have to buy extra layout. And you know, you would then you have a spare post laying around which you may or may not be able to sell for 50 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. But that's the deal. Um, if anyone wants to swap this bike for something else, I'm happy to do that because I'm not going to ride it. You know, this is it's a brand new bike, and I've already taken the wheels off and gave them to a mate for, to ride. So I took the cranks off and put on another bike. So I'm pretty, uh, you know, done the testing on it. It climbs slow, it's extra power you need. It is very, very comfortable though. It's a great comfort bike, which we went on the beach the other day, a bit of bike packing. It's very comfortable. But for me, I, you know, I've got enough comfort bikes. Um, I've got a Trek hybrid for that. So for me, it's uh, I like race bikes, and these two bikes, uh, the race bikes um, that are advertised, in my opinion. But that's just my experience. 24 years racing, owned a lot of bikes. What would I know? But there you go. But the, the SRAM, this works really good. But then again, 12 speed as well. You got to make sure that the derailleur hang is dead straight. So I prefer 10 or 11 speed, really. Um, would I buy 12 speed again? No. This is the KOM. We got go check out my Strava. Got some KOMs today on the Pragma gravel breaker. Banging out the watts, bringing out the watts. Such a good workout. Let's get into it. Just finishing effort. Just finishing effort on the gravel breaker. Pragma. Catch your breath. Just 25 minute full gas. Up and down, up and down. Oh well. Feels good, man. Feels good to be so fit. Doesn't matter. Yeah, just get out there and get it done. You'll be the hammer with the nail. It's all good. This, this guy's been stealing my KLM on the e-bike. Frank, I think you're gonna need a faster e-bike, bro. You're gonna need a faster e-bike. I think I got you time today. But I uh, know, very good. Very good day for it today. Good weather. Still a little bit warm. I think I'll be able to go quicker, a bit cooler weather. <sighs> wow. <sighs> it's all about the oxygen in it. That feels spiritual. Fire out Black Hill, this is amazing. It's amazing up here. Just like, feels so good to be fit. Hit your blood. Stability fat. High, high hemoglobin, high oxygen. My asthma feels really good. Legs feel a lot of pain there. But if it ain't hurting, you ain't pushing. Wow. This today is better than the SL7. My S-Works SL7 doesn't feel as stiff. The SL7 S-Works Tarmac is more comfortable. This is full race. This is so stiff. The front end, the BB, it's much stiffer than the SL7. The SL7 is a more comfort bike. In my experience, I own both of them. I own both of them. So I'm speaking from personal experience. The Pragma is more versatile because you can put a 50 mil. We've got some specialized tires. These are really good tires. People say I'm a specialized hate or not. Credit where credit's due. This is a Pathfinder. And these are 42s. Incredible tire. So fast. So fast on the road. But a bit of traction for the gravel for this stuff it's just perfect you know this is the sort of sandy gritty stuff pathfinder best gravel tire i've ever used um but yeah and i've got the absolute black here got power meter on there for those old data for data proof and uh the gearing today 5034 absolute black with a 40 at the back it's next to the set works with the uh, gx gs derailleur well i feel good um but i ran the gear so it was a bit hard the cadence is a bit low, so I will put the 4630 on these cranks. Uh, these are just the test cranks we've been using with the SL7, with the uh, Merida, and with the Pragma. So we're just testing it with the uh, trying to get all the variables the same. Same pedal, same power meter, calibrate, etc. Oh man, that was so good. Pressure wise, I think that's about 30. I was asking a few people today what pressure you're running, and that's about 30. I need a leak or something, I think, in there. Yeah, it's a, bit of, it's a bit of tubeless air coming out. I should actually head home. DT Swiss 240 hubs from Yishin bike. They work really well. The valves are a bit short. I didn't, I didn't put long ones in there. Thompson Post 27.2. I've got it bent back forward because I've got more slammed. And that's an issue 